They are trying to silence me. Big Pharma, who develops drugs that manage symptoms of chronic diseases instead of helping us heal, the fast food and processed food industry that feeds us highly processed unhealthy food that contributes to obesity and other medical conditions, leading to increased demand for medical treatments. And yes, if a health system is rewarded for sick care instead of healing, even they receive higher revenue from treating illnesses and the complications arising from poor health. Thankfully, health systems that focus on population health like mine are trying to change that. So why are they trying to silence me? Because the ketogenic diet is a threat to their bottom line. Imagine over 50 diseases, diabetes, Alzheimer's, cancer, depression, and so many more being put into remission with food alone. They don't want you to notice because when you heal yourself, they lose a customer. This video isn't just for you, it's for anyone you love who might be suffering needlessly. So watch until the end because I'm going to share a resource that lets you dive deeper into the science behind everything I'm about to say. And I'm not only going to reveal how keto can transform your health, I'll show you the mechanism behind a few of these diseases so you can truly understand its power. So let's get started. Let's start with one of the most common and devastating diseases, it's diabetes. From pre-diabetes to type 2 diabetes, keto can often put these conditions into remission. Why? Because diabetes is fundamentally a disease of carbohydrate intolerance. When you consume carbohydrates, your body converts them to glucose causing blood sugar spikes. This forces your pancreas to release insulin often in excess leading to insulin resistance over time. By dr drastically reducing carbs and fueling your body with healthy fats, you eliminate blood sugar spikes and reduce insulin demand. This allows your cells to become insulin sensitive again. People who were injecting insulin daily have been able to stop or dramatically reduce their medications, all thanks to keto. Here's the science. When you're in ketosis, your body burns fat for fuel instead of glucose. This reduces the need for insulin, helps the pancreas heal, and lowers systemic inflammation, which is a major driver of diabetes-related complications like nerve damage and kidney disease. Now let's tackle metabolic disorders like fatty liver, obesity, and metabolic syndrome. These conditions are all tied to excess insulin and fat accumulation in the liver. Keto addresses the root causes by reducing insulin levels and allowing your body to mobilize and burn stored fat. Take non-alcoholic fatty liver disease as an example. Studies show that within weeks of starting keto, liver fat can decrease by 50%. This is because ketosis triggers lipolysis, the breakdown of fat into usable energy. Instead of storing fat in your liver, you're burning it for fuel. Now for obesity, keto suppresses appetite-regulating hormones like ghrelin, making it easier to eat less without feeling hungry. That's why so many people report losing weight much easier when on keto. Now let's move on to the brain. Did you know that keto was originally developed as a treatment for epilepsy? It works by stabilizing neuronal activity and reducing inflammation in the brain. But that's just the beginning. Conditions like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even traumatic brain injuries can benefit from a ketogenic diet. Here's why. The brain loves ketones. Unlike glucose, ketones provide a clean, efficient energy source that doesn't create harmful byproducts. In Alzheimer's disease, where the brain becomes insulin resistant and can't use glucose effectively, ketones bypass this problem and restore energy production. For Parkinson's disease, keto reduces oxidative stress and inflammation, two key factors that damage dopamine producing neurons. And for migraines, it stabilizes blood sugar and reduces neuroinflammation, which are major triggers for headache pain. Keto also transforms reproductive health. And in this category, let's focus on PCOS or polycystic ovarian syndrome. It's a leading cause of infertility and is driven by, you guessed it, insulin resistance. High insulin levels trigger the ovaries to overproduce androgens, leading to irregular periods, acne, and infertility. By reducing insulin, keto restores hormonal balance, improves ovulation, and boosts fertility. For men, keto improves erectile dysfunction by enhancing vascular health because high blood sugar and inflammation damages blood vessels over time, reducing blood flow. 
Keto reverses these effects by lowering inflammation and improving nitric oxide production, which is essential for healthy blood vessel function. Keto isn't just about weight loss, it can heal your gut too. Crohn's disease, gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, irritable bowel syndrome are all linked to inflammation and gut dysbiosis, which is an imbalance of good and bad bacteria in your gut. Keto reduces inflammation, starves harmful gut bacteria by cutting out sugar and refined carbs. The GERD, the mechanism is really fascinating because carbohydrates ferment in the stomach, increasing gas and pressure that pushes acid into the esophagus. By cutting carbs, you reduce fermentation and alleviate acid reflux, which is why many people find they no longer have this problem when on keto. Let's look at mental health. Depression and anxiety are deeply tied to blood sugar regulation and inflammation. Keto stabilizes blood sugar, reducing mood swings and irritability. It also reduces inflammation in the brain, which is now understood to be a root cause of many mental health conditions. For example, in bipolar disorder, ketones act as a mood stabilizer, providing the brain with a consistent energy supply and reducing fluctuations that contribute to manic and depressive episodes. For anxiety, keto increases levels of GABA, a calming neurotransmitter, while reducing glutamate, an excit excitatory neurotransmitter linked to stress. And, and who's not afraid of cancer? Cancer is perhaps the most groundbreaking area where keto shows promise. Cancer cells thrive on glucose and struggle to metabolize ketones. By cutting carbs, you deprive cancer cells of their primary fuel source, slowing tumor growth. This is particularly effective for brain cancers like glioblastomas, where standard treatments often fail. Keto also reduces inflammation and oxidative stress, which play a role in cancer progression. While it's not a standalone cure, Many resources believe keto is a powerful adjunct therapy that can enhance the effectiveness of conventional treatments. Now, this is a lot to take in, but here's the bottom line. The ketogenic diet is a powerful tool for healing that threatens the profit of billion dollar industries. They don't want you to know this because an informed healthy population is their worst nightmare but you don't have to take my word for it. There are two re resources I will link in the video comments that will allow you to search the medical conditions you are interested in to see if keto can help. One is the Metabolic Multiplier Zotoro website and the other is the Nutrition Network website. They both contain a database of studies on the ketogenic diet and whether or not there have been studies using ketogenic diet on your disease of concern. So share these links with anybody who's curious about keto and maybe or not it can help their particular medical condition. This is your opportunity to take control of your health or help someone you love do the same. You never know whose life you may be able to save. If this video resonates with you, don't keep it to yourself. Hit that share button like this video, and subscribe for more life-changing content. Together, we can spread the truth and empower others to reclaim their health. Don't let them silence you.